Hi, it's Janet and welcome to my channel. This is where you can be inspired, learn new techniques, and pick up some new tips and tricks. Get started by subscribing and clicking on the bell. Hi everybody, it's Janet. I hope you're having a crafty and wonderful day. I am here to share with you all the contents of a great kit that Spellbinders put out this year. It's a special edition ca kit called the Merry Everything Christmas Kit. Now if you saw this kit a month or so ago and it was sold out, it has come back into stock. So um, go out there and get this if you're still interested in it. I've got some links to the kit if you'd like to follow those. I always appreciate you purchasing things through my links because that helps me buy more things to show you on my channel like this. Believe me, it is not an income generator. It is simply an expense alleviator. Let's put it that way. There are over 600 pieces in this kit and you can make at least 25 cards because they give you 25 cards and 25 envelopes. But believe me, you can make a lot more than that with this. So I wanted to just go through the unboxing of it. I'm starting a series the very same day that I'm releasing this unboxing of cards that I'm making with the kit. And the idea that I'm going to do on this series is just to make as many cards as I can as quickly as I can um, and without a lot of extra materials, supplies, or, or um, tools. So if you're interested in making some quick stuff for Christmas that will be handmade and appreciated by everyone who receives it without spending your whole Christmas season working on it, this series is, is perfect for you. Let's go through everything that's in this really quite amazing and comprehensive kit. First thing I'm going to start with is the die set. There's a small die set here. I mean, after all, this is Spellbinders, so of course they're going to include dies. This is the set that they have, and it makes the old-fashioned beetle car. And we've got the tree that can go on the top of it. We've got packages that can go on top of it, or maybe sticking out of the trunk. There's ribbons and bows, uh, the tire, everything you need. In fact, this is a good example right here. In their sheet, they included one card uh, idea, and that shows you how to make it with the uh, tree on the top as opposed to using the packages. But you've got the option of the packages too. All right, so that's that. Next is a stamp set. This is a small stamp set, but it's got some very nice uh, sentiments on it, and these are going to be really nice to use when you don't have something else that you can use within the kit. And believe me, there is lots of things to use for sentiments that you'll be seeing shortly. Next, we've got uh, a sticker set here with little letters stuck in pretty little envelopes and some candies and stars and some tiny little sentiments. Next, we have these, I guess they call them Diamante, is their line, Spellbinders line of gems. And there are 120 of these in green, clear, or diamond, and red. Very pretty. Then we've got a sticker sheet of words here with white and red glitter. Lots of sentiments here. And we've got this pretty 25, which is awesome as well. So that is fun to have. Then we've got a red glitter and foam alphabet. This is a through Z of course and it also has numbers. So they've tried to put in enough letters of the most commonly used so you can get as much mileage out of this as possible and it's pretty and dimensional. Next we have some epoxy stickers. Right next we've got three sheets of um, stickers and there's lots of options in this. Let me show you uh, real quick here. So we've got, again, coordinating images all go with the paper pad and uh, these other pieces, the ephemera and everything. So they all can, again, work together. So we've got these, which have some dimension in them already. They have some foam tape behind them, so uh, they add a lot without a lot of work. Then we've got this whole sticker sheet. Each one is individual word or words. A ton of great phrases and words in the pretty red and gold. This last sheet are stickers again. 
they have some wonderful sentiments and then you can't see them real well here but there are a few more that are white with clear wording so that whatever you stick on behind them will show through to form the words so lots again of of uh, sentiments which is often the trouble with card kits I find is there just isn't a lot of sentiments to use with it this totally has that covered let's talk papers first of all we've got the Mary everything paper pad and I'm going to look here there's 40 sheets I have my list of items so I can give you the right counts of here there's too much for me to remember so there are two sheets of every design so that means there's 20 designs they are single sided but some of them have foiling on them that was a little too fast some really super cute uh, paper and it's of the right size like you can use them in smaller cards a lot of times paper packs have these huge huge patterns and that's pretty hard to work with um, on a typical greeting card so I like that they've got a lot of small patterns so uh, that's that the Mary everything paper pad and again these images will coordinate with both the stickers the ephemera and the journaling cards that they included in this kit. I've got two vellum sheets. They're really pretty. The first one is red stars. They're gorgeous. The next one I like even better though because it's so classic Christmas is this red stripe. Isn't that beautiful? So those are fun to work with. Then we've got this white glitter and red glitter 8.5 by 11 card stocks. And this is the kind of glitter that doesn't shed. See, there's really little to nothing that comes off. There's just a few tiny little pieces, but for the most part, this stuff does not make a mess. So that's awesome. We have gold and silver card stocks. These are treated on both sides, so that's nice as well. Then there are, I believe, 14 pieces of 8.5 by 11 card stock. Let me just check the list. Yes, 14. We have a craft or a brown, a light green, kind of a mint green, soft blue. We've got uh, kind of an ivory, and then we've got a white. There's actually two whites. A light green, a more traditional green. There are two traditional red card stocks, one that's more like a burgundy, and then they've included a couple things that are not as common, such as a blue. And then this is a gray and a black. Before I started, I said there were a set of 25 cards and envelopes. I want to show them to you now. I hope you can see this because these card blanks are not just plain old cardstock. There's some nice embossing to this uh, surface. It looks a little bit like linen and it's really nice. So although they are plain white, it's uh, not plain. So I really appreciate that too. You don't necessarily feel like you've got to cover it with paper to make it look nice. So there's that. Now let's move on to some of the embellishments and so forth. First of all, let's take a look at the journal cards. So let's see, they actually call this, and let me see if I can find it on my list here of things. It says 40 pack of memory cards. So there's 40 combined in the larger size and the smaller size. Um, and looks like there's two of each. So I'm just going to go through these quick so you can see them. Now I would envision that these can be used for journaling in your scrapbooking if you'd like to, but these will also be wonderful, almost all of them, to use in card making. And that's what I'm going to do with mine and that's what my series will be about 
This is super cute. It says our elf and there's a place to glue a photo of your elf if you'd like to do that. And that could be a human or a four-legged creature. Uh, then this cute little to-do list. Christmas cheer. A tablet sheet with some candy canes on it. Have yourself a little Merry Christmas. Oh, what fun. You know, I like about this, it's so large we can put a sentiment or even uh, something else in here to decorate that. I got some ideas. It's the December um, calendar. There's some striped paper for embellishment. This is a uh, kind of like an invitation, is what I would think it is when, where, and what. Just keep in mind if we don't use this for either your scrapbooks or for your cards. You can cover this up with an embellishment or something and still have this cute little uh, soldier there. And the same with this. We've got recipe at the bottom, but if we just trim this off, it doesn't say recipe anymore. Or we put something else that covers up the recipe. You could still use this to write something. So lots of options. You don't have to be limited by what it was really designed or intended to be. These larger cards have such cute little uh, cats on it. So cute. Now these appear to be one of each kind rather than two. So X days till Christmas, you can put the number in there. Hey Santa, I've been good. Come on, give me something good. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas with the uh, polar bear. Get wrapping. Just some nice background paper there. Joy and Merry Christmas. These are make just great card fronts all by themselves. All right, so let's go through the ephemera. There are two of each of these. So we've got that cute beetle image and some sentiments, lots of sentiments, really. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Here comes Santa Claus. Be joyful. We have the pretty set of lights. Nice big bow. Winter sweater, cute snowmen, couple cats. There's this cat, and this cat, and hopefully you're seeing by now the similarities in the paper and the um, journal cards that I've always sh already showed you. Here's a kite and another kite. I just dropped that. That's an and. I'll show you that later. Uh, snow globe, several stars in different sizes. Here's gr a green star, blue star, black, and a large red in that same style. Then a completely different st style of star. This has a star with a red bow on it. There's a couple ornaments in gold, so we've got the round one and kind of that uh, elongated bulb, and then here's more like an onion shaped. So three really cute ornaments, several different snowflakes. Here's a blue. Here's a black. Here's gold. And then some packages. So we have this black polka dot with a blue bow. Here's white and green and black. Black, white, and red. And then I, this could be any number of things, but a package is most obvious, I guess, and with some pattern and also that gold. Here is a poinsettia. Here's another poinsettia, slightly different. A couple candy canes. Bells. And then some bottle brush trees and or other trees. So here's bottle brush. Beautiful. Nice big size. So here's black and white. Here's a, a long black and white. 
There's a, a green and white. Another bottle brush, more traditional green. Here's one in black and gold. Here's a branch. Oops, sorry, I'm just gonna leave that way. We've got a cute deer. Here's a circular cutout with packages on it. It says from Santa. And speaking of Santa, can't leave him out. Here he is with his package. All right, so that are all the cards and the embellishments, all right? There are a few other little extras that are important if you're going to make cards. So first of all, I separated out some sentiments. These are sentiment strips. They were in the ephemera pack, and there's two of everything. Uh, super great because then you don't have to mess around with making your sentiments, and that's important for speed. So we have bright, we have naughty, merry, tis the season, joy, and then there are two gold ands. I don't think I mentioned it. There's nice. I think that may be dropped out of my hand. Again, there's so much here. It's hard to keep track of it all. Um, then we've got some foam dots. These are double-sided foam tape type dots that you can use for dimensional work. There's double-sided adhesive tape here. These This looks to be probably quarter inch. We've got twine, red and white twine. And then they've even included some tags. There's actually six different tags, four of each. So that'd be 24. Let's take a look at these. So here is a white glitter finish. It's got a stripe in glitter. Really, really nice. Here's a plain red. This is a nice one as well. Just a nice little pattern. Here is a red and white glitter treated. Just the red is glitter. And then the poinsettia and the black and white with black glitter treatment. Plus they've included some neutral twine here. All right, that's a lot of stuff. And in fact, I got this kit a long time ago when it first came out actually. And it's been sitting on my counter ever since it arrived because there is so much you can do with it, so many options. You kind of can get to the point where you're not sure where to start. And so it just stops you from doing anything. So hence the point of my series that I'm starting off today. You should find that right here. You'll find it in the cards at the end of this video also where you can click on it and go to the first video of the series. And it will be in my video description. So three ways to find the series and get started with that. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun looking at the, the kit and all of its contents. I hope you're excited about the series I'm going to do. But again, if you still need a kit, you can get one. Just follow the links and get yourself one and follow along. Well, all right, everyone. Thank you for joining me here today. I always enjoy being with you. I'll be back soon, but until then, keep crafting. Bye. I'm so glad you joined me today. If you liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so that you get future notices for this card series. You can keep the fun going by clicking on one of the videos that I've put up here for your enjoyment as well. Thank you so much.